What's up, guys? Lou in here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back for another Guitar Tuesday. Today, we're having a little bit of a serious talk. It's a little bit of a downer, if you ask me, really. Um, you know, if you're a guitar player, uh, you might have been one of the people out there who has read that, you know, the popularity of the guitar is on the declining side of things. I assume that the real measure that they've used to determine this is through sales of guitars, okay? So um, they're tracking sales of instruments and people are not buying expensive instruments anymore like they used to, you know, from the 60s through the 90s. Um, people aren't buying a lot of expensive guitars and it seems like there's less students and it seems like there are no guitar heroes anymore, you know, um, which I think is totally inaccurate, by the way, but, and we'll talk about that. Um, but it is, there is some signs of this decline in the guitar industry. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. And the first thing I wanted to address is this, there are no guitar heroes anymore. So that is number one, total bullshit, because they're just looking in the wrong places. Guitar heroes used to be on the stage all the time, right? That's where we found them. On the stage, on the albums, we would just listen and be like, oh my God, that guy's so amazing. How did he do that? And you sit there and you learn his parts. That That is... Um, those are the old guitar heroes and we still love and respect them, of course, but my idea of a guitar hero these days are people, you know, who are on YouTube or any what, whatever platform, but if they're guitar teachers out there, um, they're the ones that are the current form of guitar heroes. So I'm talking about people like my good friend Marty Schwartz or Justin Santacor. I probably said his name wrong. Um, um, Ben Clark from BanjoBen.com, um, there is no shortage of guitar heroes out there. These are excellent guitar players who are inspiring young musicians out there to get better at their instruments, but they're doing it in a whole new way through the internet, so they're able to actually show people what to do. And just like it was in the past, everybody had their favorite guitar player, you know what I mean? Now everybody, if you're in the guitar world, you probably have some sort of online guitar teacher that is your guy, you know what I mean? So. Um, that's the, the the idea that there are no guitar heroes, I think, is totally inaccurate because there are. And, uh, you know, Marty, Justin, Ben, the list continues. You guys are the ones, okay? Um, so thank you for keeping the dream alive because a lot of us still do love the guitar and the younger generation is still being exposed to guitar through you guys. So that's awesome. Thank you to those guitar teachers out there online who do take the time to do that so much. You are helping guitars not go extinct, okay? Um, so that's number one. There are plenty of guitar heroes. You just need to adjust your view off of the main stage and maybe to your computer screen. Um, secondly, let's talk about the fact that no one is buying expensive guitars. Okay, so what I think about this is that those numbers might not necessarily be accurate. When they're talking about sales, um, they're probably looking at like the main retailers, right? So if you're talking about like Sam Ash, Guitar Center, um, any large retail store, but they're looking at brand new guitar sales, I think primarily. I don't think what they're looking at is, you know, used guitars trading hands between players i do i really doubt that that has been accounted for and i really doubt that they're tracking like pawn shop sales and stuff like that now of course in the vintage market there has been a decline um but that i don't think revolves around a decline in interest i think a lot of the guys who do have the money to have these really awesome guitar collections to buy those really expensive vintage guitars a i think that they're running out of space on their walls you know what i mean they probably have pretty much everything they want by now um then there's also the fact that a lot of those guys don't have as much money as they used to because of all the financial stuff that has been happening around the world 
Um, so decline in vintage sales, I don't think is a result necessarily of a decline in interest, but I do think it has something to do with a decline in funds in the bank account and a decline in, you know, available real estate on your walls for other instruments. You know what I mean? Um, I personally still love and desire vintage instruments, but I just can't afford them. That's, that's the reality. Uh, you know, the dollar has decreased in value. Uh, and so the, the numbers, on the price tags keep going up and up and up uh so you know the guitars just become unattainable um we could blame inflation maybe let's bl blame inflation on the decline in sales of vintage instruments but basically there is this idea that the guitar is on the decline it's about to become extinct you know they like to dramatize all of this stuff i think that's stupid i you know, it's never going to go extinct. I mean, people still play harmonium and, I mean, all sorts of ancient instruments. Not that the harmonium's that old, but, you know, shoot, people still play bagpipes and people still play uh, uh, the lyre or whatever. You know, I mean, people still play the lute, for God's sake. So things are not, you know, as bad as Guitar World dot com might want you to think you know what i mean it's not going to evaporate and disappear forever so the last thing i just sort of wanted to discuss is how to maybe save it from its decline if it is truly in a decline and it, 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 may, it may very well be in a real decline but i have some ideas for you guys out there especially if you're parents or uncles or aunts whoever you may be um but it's up to the parents, if you ask me, if you love guitar and if you love music, you have to transfer that to your kids. You know, I do teach guitar. And one of the things that I tell parents all the time is, well, parents who complain that their kids don't practice enough, I always say it's because you don't love music enough. You don't listen to music in the car. You don't listen to music around the house. You don't listen to music when you're having a barbecue. You're, you know, probably telling your kids to turn their music down. So they don't love it because you don't love it anymore for whatever reason you may or may not love it for. That is basically my advice to any of us who are trying to keep the guitar popularity level up, you know? Um, just you got to remind kids that you also love music. If you're a guitar teacher, you got to be talking about the new guitar players out there. One thing that I should add is that there are a couple of guitar heroes still on the stages. I shouldn't have said that they're all on YouTube. I mean, obviously, you know, John Mayer is an amazing player. And of course, Derek Trucks is phenomenal. There are plenty of guitar players on the stages that are totally amazing but they're not mainstream music like they used to be you know what i mean um so they tend to influence a smaller audience than they used to in the past uh that's why i sort of mentioned the youtube guys because there's a bunch of them and they have a huge net of students and people who watch um and so you know that's why i think they're the real guitar heroes of the world um so anyway yeah if we want to save this, we have to show that we really truly love instruments and music and guitar playing and guitar players. We have to show that to the younger generation. And um, I think fundamentally that is one of the biggest issues is that people aren't listening to music like they used to. I mean, if you're an engineer and a producer and you are not daily listening to music, new music, old music, any music, if you're not just sitting around and listening, what are you doing? You have to listen to music every single day. If you're an engineer or producer, you have to listen to the new music that's coming out. You have to listen to the old music that came out. Listen to your old mixes. Listen to your new mixes. Just listen to music again because... It's so much fun, you guys. It is, oh, I love sitting around just with my headphones on and nothing, no phone, no computer, just getting immersed in the music. Um, that's something, uh, I think that's a pastime that is, that is being lost very much so. Um, you know, I just think, uh, I think we could be doing more to save guitar heroes, guitar in general. So I just wanted to encourage all of you guys out there who follow my channel and who I totally appreciate for following my channel. I just wanted to encourage you guys to be more active in that mission, right? We, we, it's up to us. We are the generation that are the custodians of the guitar 
cool, you know? Uh, so we have to treat it with care, carry it very carefully, and hand it off to the next generation with as much passion and love that we can. Because if we don't do that, yes, then there will you know, be an even larger decline in the guitar world. And um, it's just going to go away. And I think that would be a real shame because guitar has brought me music in general, but playing the guitar has brought me so much joy, so much happiness. Um, I've experienced so many amazing things, weird things, cool things, bad things, all sorts of amazing things that have, you know, that were all because of music, all because I play guitar. Um, and none of that cool stuff would have happened if I wasn't a guitar player or a musician in general. So that's it, you guys. I hope that you you know, learn something or I got some juices flowing in your head on the topic. Of course, leave comments in the section below because I love, you know, discussing this stuff with you guys. But I think we do have a very serious job of, you know, making sure that the next generation is as, is as in love with guitars as we all are. Um, so, you guys, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, just a little bit of yakety yak today, but I hope you enjoyed it. Friday, I'll be back with another video and um, I'll talk to you then. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very soon. All right, peace. Oh, and, and one thing I should add there are a fuck. <laughs>